Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Yes, the weather is taking a bit of a turn, but it's clearing up. It's getting better. And we are finally, I promise, I promise today, we're going to find the Crones of Crookback Bog. We've got looters. Oh, look at this. What are you doing? You're bad people, aren't you? You'll regret your mum ever squirted you out. Get him! Okay, well, I think we're starting the, the, the episode off just as we mean to go on today. Lots and lots of bloodshed. Ow. Oh, flipping arches, man. I don't have yet the perk that deflects the arch the arrows. Look, what's this? You can't I can't block them, but um, there's a perk that's not too difficult to get, I just haven't unlocked it yet. That allows me to um well eventually will allow me to parry those. Not yet, not yet. All in good time, my children. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Don't forget, you must leave a like. You absolutely have to. I'm not even asking this time. I'm telling. Go and put a like on the, on the episode. It just takes a few seconds. Just go do it. Just do it. Now, the crook back bog. Look at the lighting. It's so good. It's just over the brow of this hill, I believe. Somewhere around here. Uh, I have journeyed far and wide and come about the f as far east as I've I've come so far in the game um, and we're about to enter the ladies the ladies of the wood mission to exactly what we're on so we've got to use our witcher senses to find the shrine that starts the trail of treats now you remember the story Gret oh my god no I'm not ready for this it's a wyvern oh god can this be done this can be done Ow! This is my first... This is my first wyvern! Ow! Come on, Geralt. You got this, man. Get him on the ground. Hit him with a crossbow and he drops to the ground like a fool. And he's nearly... Oh, it's it! He's done! That's it! That's our first wyvern deaded. A dragon scales, monster blood, a wyvern hide, and an egg. Oh, look at that. He's got a beautiful grin. Beautiful smile. Uh, let me let me just have my last loaf of bread before we moved on to the baked potato. <laughs> yep, I am so glad I got this, uh, this perk. Okay, now I think we are about to begin. Yes, here we go. The shrine that marks the start of the Trail of Treats. Yes, so Gretka was saying that uh, the people that were looking after her were innocently telling her to follow the, the trail of treats. We're about to find out why. Look at the treats hanging around this busty wooden statue. Oh, full of maggots. Lovely. Okay, follow the, the trail of treats using your senses. I see them, I see them. Okay, there's more than enough of these baked hearts and baked goodies lying around here all to make the children fat and plump makes you wonder why we will find out very very soon and it's a beautiful little trail of course enticing the children oh the children come to, come to the bog children we've got sweets for days I mean, it's almost beautiful, apart from the bog bit. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings! Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. It's hardly a warm welcome, is it? I'm looking for a witch. Let's get straight down to business. What are you doing in the swamp, I think, is an apt question. Let's try and figure this out. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. 
Didn't know that. All right, you little shit. I'll clip you around the ear hole. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. He's not going to, though, is he? He's been eaten. Uh, ever seen an ashen-haired woman around here? This is exactly why we are here, after all, okay? There's, meant, there's a couple of reasons why we need to visit this area, but the main reason is we're looking after, or we're looking for, I should say, Siri. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. <laughs> Lassies got teeth. <laughs> they do. Heard an old man say once when the army was here. He says, "I them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. <laughs> and it's torturing the poor lass." <laughs> oh, I snorted. Said. Oh God, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the girl is in trouble, or you live here alone. The, 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 this girl is in trouble. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who am I? Who am I? Oh, the insolence. All right, who's Johnny? Are you a witch? You take care of the kids. Uh, I'm looking for somebody. Are you a witch? Burn you her. One of the witches of the swamp. I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gwen's got a lovely beak. <laughs> oh, you darling girl. It's about as lovely oh, as the wyvern so we just sweet. killed. Okay, all right, let's cut to the chase. I'm looking for somebody. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Okay, just for the love of God, please help me. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. <laughs> Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in a corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. So they want nothing other than to get rid of me. Geralt, come on, see through the mist and the lies. Well, that was that. Go to the hut and talk to the boy. Little Johnny. Johnny. Where are you? I'm going to just rob this place of everything they've got first. Journey to the end of the world. That was hardly worth it. Uh, Sirens, the Harpy's Distant... Oh, that's a bestiary entry. Very nice. You see, it's totally worth reading every book you pick up. For that reason alone, while I rob this place of everything it's got... Uh, take a moment to read the books. Definitely worth it. And we've got an entry for Sirens. All right, Johnny. Where are you? Hi, Johnny. I'm home. Jo you're not Johnny. You're Johnny. Oh, no, you're Travick. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and stranger stale kids. Right. Sounds like he's been told to cover this up. You don't want to talk to me, or where can I find this Johnny if he's going to be the one to, uh, have the looser lips? Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Liar. Be gone. Liar. 
Ask the children in the swamp village about Johnny. Wonder where he's from. Uh, okay, these these people are not going to be very helpful. Let me steal everything from here as well. I love that, that you can just wander around helping yourself through everything they've got. And there's plenty of it as well. Any more? Oh yes, there is. Thank you very much. Okay. Kiddies, talk. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. So, this is an invisible boy. Have you ever seen him? Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Perfect. Does Gran ever hurt you? Oh, we have to ask. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. All right, just for God's sake, help me out, will ya? The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. <sighs> is there anything else? Is there something else you need or want? Oh, I want something sweet. And me too! Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum! Never eaten nothing like this before in my life! What a fruit? <laughs> it's all the cakes and biscuits you've been given. At least we don't have to play hide and seek. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagna in the arse! Gran! <laughs> I love these kids. The language is brilliant. All right, little boy, now I've got you. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. You might, but I will. Where's Gran? She's busy. All right. Where are your parents? We should actually ask this. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells, then laughing. Went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled. And the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. God, I'll tell you what, that got to me. That did. Poor little boy. All right, I'll be. I'll be a little less aggressive. Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny, little boy? I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. And so this quest begins. This is really, really interesting, this quest, because you've got lots of different choices, and I understand I haven't really... Hmm. I haven't really explored all the choices of this quest in my various playthroughs of the game over the many years. Uh, but I understand you... you, 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 you there's multiple ways of completing it, and some of them are morally questionable. But potentially more rewarding in in a way all right we've got a water hag let's just get rid of these idiots first what a beautiful creature look at her tits hanging down by her waist get rid of these drowners they're just the distraction all right miss hag 
Come on. Come Don't like the flames? I'm not surprised. Oh, look at that. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Oh my god. I mean, they've they've increased and improved the, the creature textures, but this is one improvement I wish they hadn't put in. <laughs> look at the size of those legs. Yes. <laughs> I really do like it, though. It's, it's nice to see these kind of uh, updates brought into the game. Even though a lot of the stuff has come from the modding community, which I think is really cool. But here we go. Right, we've got something to examine. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Oh, Johnny. Where are you? Johnny, where are you? I'm coming for you. After I kill these, I'll be right there. Okay, okay. We got this. Drowners aren't too much of a problem. They've got this... They're pretty... Their attacks are pretty hard. But if you can dodge the jump attack... Just like so... Uh, it's fairly easy to, to get around them. Why are they called drowners? Because they take your body into the water and pull you under. It's quite sinister, really. Right, anyway, where's the red stuff? Here we go, more footprints. Keep going. Here we go. To a burrow. Wonder what's inside. I wonder what's inside. Johnny. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You can't talk. Okay. We'll get you to talk. So you know the kids from the clearing well? You gotta know what goes on around here. Okay. You can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Okay, I will follow, I understand. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Bless the little mites. He's actually a really nice little character, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll learn a little more about him as we go. Godlings. Let's have a quick look in the bestiary to see what the godlings are all about. Godlings. Not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were chock full of guardian spirits. Today is nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie, a bucker, or a lutin. And godlings, they're always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for civilization's forward march. From the preface to The World We Have Lost by Professor Dora Gray, Godlings, sometimes mistaken for Luthien, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They're similar to children in behavior and appearance, and like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocent, and so delight in the company of children, and usually only show themselves to the young. Those hard-working and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for return and payment in the form of food or cast-off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village a godling watches over becomes too populous or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. So they're little, um, I don't know, like guardian angels of the forest. 
cute little things. Right, Johnny, don't worry, I got these guys. Don't worry, Johnny, I got this, Johnny. It's alright, Johnny. You'll be safe with me, Johnny. I've dealt with these before. Cut now. Didn't like that one. Oh, we got one burned. Nice jump kill there, Geralt. I thought I'd use the strong attack for a change. Still worth gathering all this stuff up. Oh, they didn't drop much. All right, Johnny, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Stay close to me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, you you worry that he's leading us to our death, really, don't you? But Johnny is it as we already just found out in the vestry, he can be mischievous. This the place? Let me look around. <laughs> he's got a, a hair lip, but it looks like something's on the ledge. Something that'll get you your voice. Looks back. like a snarl. Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> Look at the little boy. Okay, we gotta get up there somehow. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Not that way. Come on, come on, come on, girl. There we go. Piece of cake and a raven's nest, but surrounded by harpies. Oh, nice. Let's get this guy while he's on the ground. Oh. Get down here. Damn it. Right, we have to go back up. Back up, back up. Geralt. Oh, we're in combat mode and I can't climb. Oh, for the love of it. We have to go the long way. Get down here. There it is. Get them on the ground and you can you can perform this sort of stabbing maneuver on them. If they're if they're lying down, of course. There we go. Our first harpies. Let's just see if we can zoom in on one of these things. Look at the face. The beak of a bird well, the wings of the bird as well. And they drop mutagens. They're great looking creatures. The, I love the feathers. Amazing colours. Okay. Other harpies. Did you drop anything for me? Nothing on the map showing that they've dropped loot. But anyway, this is what we came for. A sealed bottle and Maybe a raven's feather. Alright, we're coming down. Now, hopefully this won't hurt. We should slide down here. There we go. Done with style, Geralt. I like it. Here. <laughs> Done celebrating. <laughs> My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Oh, God. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Absolutely. There's no such thing as a good deed. Honestly, it's just to make yourself feel better. All right, how did you? Uh, why did you lose your voice, or how do you bottle someone's voice? I'm interested in this. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you as a prank or just to be mean yeah I mean we don't know why he lost his voice but obviously somebody did it to him all right now fess up I'm looking for Siri I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman see anyone like that did I ever remember it as if it were yesterday soon as I woke I went to empty my bowels my favorite part of the day <laughs> defecating to the sunrise downright glorious Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. 
Young ashen haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. This is such an iconic mission as well. There's so many of them in this game. And yeah, here we are, yet another one. Now, he mentioned the crones. Um, the woman from the village swamp. Who is she? Yes, I think this is important. I know this is important. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. No, nothing, nothing. A swamp's a lovely place to be. Of course it is, with all the drowners and the hags roaming around here. No reason why you shouldn't choose this place. I take it back. What do you know about the crowns? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Ah. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you wish Don't for, find yeah. find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. So they probably know what we're talking about right now. So the very first thing he said in the answer to that last question was... They might steal your voice. So I think we got the answer to where or who stole his. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Got these strange blue markings on his chest. I know his, his arms are blue. But it almost looks like a tattoo on his, on his, on his, well, on his chest and his stomach. All right, Johnny, come on, let's go. Head to the village. Be off with ye. Shall I just get her myself? Somewhere through here. I'm sure we'll, we'll encounter a drowner or two. If not, I'll cut straight to the... Oh, are you in trouble? No, I just ran too fast. Oh, yet more drowners and another hag. Alright, let's deal with a hag. I remember when I first played this game. I don't know if it's because I I just didn't have the wherewithal to get some of these upgrades early on. But I found these kind of fights incredibly difficult. And died a lot. Yeah, there you go. It's over as quickly as it started. I don't know what I just... Oh, God. I don't know why I'm looking at this. I can't take my eyes off them. <laughs> they are just... They look like a pair of eyes. In fact, they are, they're, the eyes are bigger than yours, Johnny. All right, here we go. We found the, uh, the signpost again. So we can fast travel back here any time we want to. Do you want to? I don't think so. It's clear, not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You... You got your voice back! I did! Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. <laughs> You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come! Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Yeah, I ain't going anywhere. Alright? Just don't give me that look. So anyway... The ashen-haired woman will lead me to the- lead me to the crowns? I'm interested. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. 
Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, <laughs> even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. I think that was a wink. It was a sort of a wink and a blink at the same time. Thank you, Johnny. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Okay. They ordered Kentucky Fried Chicken there, apart from they forgot the fried bit. Look, there's a chicken in a basket there. Uh, okay, okay. I wanted to talk to you, not imagine, not how I imagined you looking, or they speak through you. I'm not really interested in the, the small talk. Um, uh, let's not go with impressions. I want to talk to you. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. What are you suggesting? She's a daughter. Well, like a daughter. It's true. He keeps on referring to her as, as his daughter. She's not really, but yes. Might as well be. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me. Have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? I've got bollocks. I've got a couple. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Um, why do I need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. So she's completely and utterly under the control of these... The dagger. ...crones. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Yes, I got it. The dagger. The dagger, the dagger, the dagger. Should we say it a few more times? Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone ears. Okay, she's a mad as a box of frogs, that one. All right, let's, uh... 
Let's get out of here after stealing things. Don't at me, kids. What happened there? She just shrieked. I didn't touch her. I'll have that. Oh, no. Don't frighten me, kids. Don't frighten me, kids. I think you're the one doing all the front. Get out of here. Get off. Excuse me. She's the one doing all the frightening. Uh, witches not quite the devils you thought. Oh, look at that. Little story about witches. Pause the screen if you want to read a little bit more. I think I know it. all I want to find out. And my evening with a vampire. Truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. A very interesting story. Okay, anyway. So, uh, we've got an Ekimara decoction. So, again, reading the books, not just give you best your entries, but also recipes, sometimes even missions. Hire vampires. There's you, they're the ones you pay to do a job for you. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. We'll go down there another time. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, right, so we've got to talk to the Elderman of Down Warren about the village's problem. So th there's a beast they want me to slay. Oh, it's a mile away. Oh, that rhymed. All right, let me uh, hoof it over there, and um, I'll be back in a second. That's it, Roach. All right, we just found the Alderman's Hut. In Down Warren, a brand new location. Of course, we got the marker there as well. Let's go chat to this guy. There's a, there's a whole load of side quests to pick up from here as well. Do that quickly. We get a few extra locations marked. Right, sir. What have I got to do for these hideous crones? Greetings. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, oh, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So he instantly recognized the dagger as, like, be and I belong to these witches. Hmm. I'll play so along. you know who sent me. Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Okay, so you see these as some kind of overwatchers, overseers. I, I'm not so sure I would feel as safe, but maybe I know a little more <laughs> at this point. Uh, all right, let's get to the heart of this problem. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is, just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power, an evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeared to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. So they say, how long has it been like this? When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day, went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turned black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the ladies' help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stopped respecting them. 
Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. I will, sh I will be sure not to. So the Whispering Hillock. What a wonderful name. Uh, is there anyone up here who can... Oh, I tell you what, I've got I've picked up a few swords in the forest. Let me uh, just sell it to this rather mus muscular-looking fellow. Milk, freshly curdled milk, egg straight from the coop, nary a trace of shit on it. <laughs> I like see that's the thing about this game is just like occasionally you get a little comment like that. It just makes me chuckle. All right, um, what are you selling? Doesn't matter. I'm just going to sell to you. I just want to get rid of all this crap I picked up. Um, yeah, that, 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 some of those, some of those, probably one of these. I still can't part with my, my warrior's sword from the wild hunt. I st it's like a trophy in my, in my back pocket. You can have the Valen longsword though. Uh, yeah, you can have that one. There you go. Lucky you. Right, back down to 35 out of 60. Um, game we can play Gwent against him. I did promise, um... So long. That I would, I would actually show you, or try to explain the rules of the card game. Not as straightforward as it sort of sounds, but it just takes a little getting used to. Okay, where is our tree? Our tree, our tree, our tree. Over here. Okay, we're probably better off fast traveling back to the bog. Oh, who cares? Right, I'm just going to ride my way down there on, on Roach. And I'll I'll be back when we when we get there. Let's go. Okay, we've got a guarded treasure location. Very close. I don't know where that is actually. It didn't appear on the map. There is something else. There's a cave entrance down below. Humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Yeah, where were we? A kid. Poor little child has been murdered. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Okay, so we've got a whispering hillock mission. It's a beautiful sounding uh, voice though, isn't it? The powers that protect me. Okay, I'm missing every shot. It's because we're not on level ground with these wolves. Okay, any more? No? Good. Right. A voice from within the tree. So, there is a... There is a side quest that has been revealed. Uh, and a voice from within the tree. I guess we use our witcher senses, we might be able to see something. Oh, but there is a... Something down there. I guess that's another wolf. Let's have a little look around. Oh, we've got a werewolf. Okay, this is cool. Not cool. Where'd you go, little wolf? What's the time? This guy is not messing around. He's quite, um, agile. I'm gonna have to take my time with this one. Get the dodges in. Watch for his attacks. Dodge and attack myself. Not attack myself, of course. I mean, attack him. That's good, that's good. Whoa, 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 stop that now. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. I think he was going through a regeneration mode. Okay, all right, we got you, we got you. Oh, we got him up against the wall. Can't be much more. I think he jumped right over the flames, but he's done, and I nearly died myself. So Who are you? So haunting. 
Turn back his place of power. Should draw from it. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. It's quite insistent I be gone. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the give me the ability point. Very nice. So there's a cave entrance. Right up there, I think it is. Here it is. Okay, now I don't know. Oh, I might I might just meditate for a second just to give myself a little bit of, uh, of breathing space. Lung capacity. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The whispering hillock. Which does... <laughs> I don't know why that reminds me of this fluttering kite. <laughs> oh, if you know, you know. Um, find where the voice is coming from using your witcher senses. Well, I suppose I could track the quest. Because we are about to go in here and there's, there's our witcher sense picking it up. It's right there. Okay. Seems a simple cave search and rescue situation here. We got this. Uh Geralt, you need to you need to dive, dive. Not there. Not there. That's it. There we go. Now you're getting it. Straight through. And surface. Surface. Why doesn't he actually surface? I don't know what it is with Geralt swimming these days. The surface button doesn't take him all the way to the surface. He just rises slightly. Okay. Well, there we go. We found Why the source. I haven't done anything yet. Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? Now there's the dilemma. You claim I can free you. Why was I attacked? Who are you? I found corpses on the hill. I did. I found well, at least one. There's probably more. Okay, let's let's start. I need to. We need to know the answers to these questions. So I will be asking them all. So buckle up. I saw women, children even, lying dead on this hill. Did they want to destroy you? To nature, to the forest and earth, all death is alike. Every death is equal. I cry. I will. None listen. I mean, what? Are you, what? Are you, what are you? What exactly? I mean, I'll say, who are you? I would change that to what are you, but I'll I'll go with it. Who are you? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of bows, helplessly sliding or rustling. It's got a wonderful Welsh accent. It's beautiful. All right. Uh, why did they kill you? Yeah, that's true. What do, we, what do you know about that? I've got to ask as much stuff as possible because we're going we're gonna to have to make a decision soon. Must know the crowns pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. And why did they kill you? Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. Okay, so the crones basically want to take over this piece of land. So, so he says. I just love this guy's voice. Uh, this thing's voice. Guy, thing, it. Pff, who knows? What do you identify as? I was attacked. This is my precursor. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt. For I defy them. I mean, it's amazing the power that you've gleaned from just being stuck in the roots of a tree. You, you defy them how? By staying still. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you claim I can free you. Let's, let's dig into this. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am a 
found here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must tell. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can be a gear. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Now, here's the dilemma. Do I help it? Do I free it? Do I think it's lying? Gonna think it over? The kids in the clearing are in danger? <laughs> what? Found human corpses on the hillock? They were murdered? The cr- No, we've done all that. The crones, what do you know about them? Right, the kids in the clearing. You say they're in danger. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no runes to art serving. They shall all die. Let them be saved. I want to hear more about the crones. I don't think this will be a different answer to one from before. The crones. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. It's such a difficult decision because you don't know what is going to happen at this stage and i think in in two of my playthroughs i've killed this thing and in another i i can't remember i, I actually don't remember i don't think i've ever believed it which is what i'm going to do i'm going to help it let's go if you can save the orphans from the meadow I'll help you. I will fight them. Free them. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape. A rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers. The white of my bones. And a swift steed. A bear, wild and free. In meadows pasture caught. Dark as a bottomless well. Black as the depths of night. Such a beast. No other. Gather these and bring them here. So we're gonna bring recipes for a sacrifice. A raven feathers, a horse, and your remains. Okay, okay. I've just gotta flip through these quickly to find out where Got they are. Some raven feathers. Oh, I've already got the raven feathers. Good lad. A horse. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. Oh. Okay, got it, got it, got it. A wild steed from the meadows moist. And your remains, where the hell are they? My bones, they lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illumix depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let the blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. Totally different voice, but I get it. It was supposed to be the same. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. That is the cliffhanger I will leave you on. We've got to go and gather some things to bring it back here for this... whatever it is, this creature, to be reborn with a black horse. I mean, if you don't know what's about to happen, then I'm sure you're as curious 
as I was when I first played it. And I recently watched a video about what to do with this whole situation with the with the bog and the children and this thing under the tree. And it, there's some controversial choices. And I'll talk more about them maybe after I've done this way of doing this mission, okay? Um, cryptic, perhaps, but it'll make a bit more sense when I get to it. So, thank you for watching this one. Um, sorry to end it here, but I, I like to always leave you hungry, you know? You're gonna come back for more? I know you will. Thanks for watching this one. All the very best. Don't forget to leave a like again, and I'll see you in the next part. Take care, and good night.